So, it's a lizard that walks on water? It's not a Jesus lizard. It, it's a lizard like that lives in Africa that can like run across the water really fast because it has like flip feet or something. But it also, and more importantly, what I'm thinking they're going for, I could be wrong, it, it's, it's also like an ancient mythical snake that can kill you with its eyes, you know. So it, like it turns you into a rock. No, it's not fucking Medusa. Uh, it's... Oh no. No. Oh, not the goddamn... Mamaculus is a legendary reptile reputed to be the king of serpents and said to have the power to cause death with a single glance. It leaves a wide trail of deadly venom in its wake and its gaze is likewise lethal. Mamaculus, love it! Just don't look at it. Who asked for that explanation? Uh, I don't know. Friend of yours? No. What up, YouTube? Welcome to Between Two Beards and Infomercial Guy. Um, I'm Justin, a.k.a. Dub. I'm Ryan. And today we're going to be doing a full review of the all-new Stentorian. It's not a centaur, remember. No, it's not a centaur. Stentorian Basculus box mod. Made of resin. This thing is beautiful. It works. It's, 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 a, it's a decent mod. So uh, we're going to dive down and show it to you up close. And it's going to be a very quick up close because the menu system has three options and very that's simple. it. So, uh, very simple. But yeah, we'll be, we'll be right back. All right, guys. This is going to be a very, very quick up close with the Basilisk from Stentorian. Here we have this really nice like display case that this thing comes in. Uh, there's not really much information on the box, but, you know, you get the idea. And then down here is going to give you your color, which mine... Mine says it's red. I'll, uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. But anyway, pop this guy off. Well, there's a couple stickers here. Pop this guy off. And then right here is going to be your mod. And the only other thing in the box is this little bag. Um, inside here you've got a, a very simple... A very simple instruction manual in several different languages. And then these little guys. Um... The only thing I can figure that these are for is uh, is to put down on the mod underneath your atomizer to keep it from scratching the metal. Um, I mean, I guess that's good in in theory, but uh, I I don't know. I haven't been using them, but anyway. So yeah, and then we've got the mod itself. This one is Dubs. This one is considered black, and uh, he actually has the gunmetal. Uh, frame and, and all the metal pieces are gunmetal. And then here's mine. And again, they call this one red. I mean, it's gorgeous, but I don't really see a lot of red in it. There is some red in it, but regardless, I mean, the, the resin on these things is absolutely stunning. It's, I, I, I think honestly, this is even nicer than the RAM boxes, the, the ones that we got anyway were. But anyway, besides the point, um, there is no usb port on this mod um some may think that's a con some may not i would like to see it for uh, firmware updating but as far as battery charging goes you guys know we don't charge in the mods anyway so anyway you've got your fire button your down button your up button very nice spring-loaded 510 connection at the top you've got the word basilisk written right here in cursive and then down here you've got your battery door with the uh, stentorian logo on it and then some battery venting just slide that up and pop it out. Very clearly labeled here, positive down, negative down. And then, yeah, put that in there. And then five clicks turns the mod on. Stentorium pops up. And one of my biggest pros of this entire mod is, is just how simple this thing is. You've got this nice bright display. You've got your resistance, your applied voltage, the mode you're in, battery life, and wattage, and that's it. And it goes in one watt increments, which is great, all the way up to 200 watts. Um, again, you've got your fire button. If you want to lock the up and down buttons, just 
push both of them and now they're locked. It will still fire, but you can't adjust anything. And then just hit those again, obviously, to unlock. You can flip the screen by pressing the wattage down and the fire button. And now the screen is flipped. And then to change what mode you're in, you press the uh, wattage up button and the power button or the fire button. And then it's on powerful right now. You've got powerful plus. I can't really get it on the camera. Powerful plus. They've got this. It's called rebuild mode, which is just it's a power curve. Um, you go in here, and then you can set half second increments of what wattage you want you want them to fire. And then when you get back out, then you've got standard. And that is literally it. This is going to be the quickest up close we've ever done. But we're going to go ahead and jump back out and talk about them. All right, guys, that was the up close of the Stentorian Basilisk mod. Basilisk. 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 We don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, this thing is... It looks like Basilisk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even read the cursive, honestly. Uh, B-A-S-I-L-I-S-K. Look at you, English scholar. Motherfucker. <laughs> no. I got a B-plus in English. <laughs> It was a CP course. This <laughs> this is this is a really nice mod. I mean, it's full resin. It's got the the metal top and bottom. Um, I'd say let's just jump right into it. Uh, cons, I have two or three. What did I tell you? I think two. I have two. All of our cons are very similar. <laughs> you good? Anyway, yeah, I had two kind of small things. Uh, first off, the edges right here on the battery door are just a tiny bit sharp. They're not like... I don't like that. I don't like the... It's not the sharp. It's, it's not... Pokey. It pokes you. It's pokey. It can poke you. And not in the fun, hey, it's Saturday night, what we have to lose, let's not live forever right. kind of way. And it's not even like... I mean, you can feel it a little bit when you got it in your hand, but if you just kind of run your finger over that, it's just it's just a little bit. Like if they would have filed it they down... They would have taken a file to that, just, bit, a, just a smidge, that would have made that better. But, I mean, it doesn't... I mean, I guess the only real excuse I can make for the argument for that is because this is like a true, like, box mod-like thing. It's, yeah, I don't think it's really that. It's just, like I said, just the corner, just the very corners, just the two, the two edges right there. Anyway, there's that one. And then the only other thing that I've noticed is that the top metal plate gets between really warm and very hot, depending on how much you're chain vaping, anything over 100 watts. Anything under 100 watts, it didn't heat up at all. Yeah, like mine's warm right now, but I'm 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 dripping at about 95 watts. Yeah, I've got 100. Okay. I got 105 watts. Now, and now it, let me it just. Warm. I will say it is warm. It does get warm. However, it's metal to metal. It's just natural. Right. I mean, things. I I would say any mod like this. I mean, I haven't personally got to use like a cartel revenant, but having the exact same type of styling, I guarantee that mod does the same thing. I mean, it's physics. You got. Something very, very hot touching something else, that thing is going to get hot. It's metal. The rest of the mod does not transfer heat at all. Now, having said that, there have been several complaints that I've seen from people that it'll actually heat the mod up enough to where it'll actually disable it from being able to it be It gives used. a hot, uh, overheating warning. I haven't had that. I, I have not had, had that at all, and I've been dripping in between uh, 95 and 110 watts yeah, on dripping. Yeah, I, I haven't. I mean, no we issues. don't... There's a lot of guys out there that will drip like 140, 160 watts. I don't, I don't feel the I can need only, to drip that I can hot. Only, I can only review what's in front of me, and unfortunately, I don't vape. Yeah. At, I don't drip at 140 watts. Right. So I mean, as far as like I said, anything, anything above 100, <laughs> I'm noticing that it gets, it starts to get a like little said, warm. It hasn't burned my chin. It's not no, like I can't yeah, it's, touch yeah, it. Yeah, it's not. You know? It's not so. It's, it's just not that so you're hot feeling thing. some warmth there. Right. Um, other than that, oh, there is a third one. I'm sorry, there was three. Uh, the ohm, the resistance reader is off. It's it's off between 0 0.01 and, 0 .02. and 0 0.02. So that's not a big deal. I've got a lot of mods that, that show some different resistances and stuff. The weird thing about it, it's not that it reads it wrong. It's that, like, the aliens I have in my Rebel right now are 0.11. They are always 0.11. They're 0.11 in everything I've able them in. Any RDA I put them in, they're always 0.11. This reads them at 0.09. Actually, it's reading at 0.1 right now, which that's the first. But normally, this is reading them at 0 0.09. But the mod will still fire. The right. mod's only supposed to fire down to 0.1, but it, when it reads a 0 0.09, it'll still fire. Now, that hasn't caused me any issues at all as far as vaping goes, but just I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, well, I, 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 I've seen that, because we basically have the same pros and cons on this mod. I don't really think there is... 
anything spectacular that one or the other just didn't really no. like how it was doing it. Um, what, what are we doing here? I'm just seeing what the what, it, what the what the O's are on this. Okay. See, this is reading one point zero point two, point one two. That's what this is reading. Can't fucking talk tonight. Now this is reading at point one zero. So yeah, so I mean it's like point zero two off again. It is what it, it is. It hasn't affected anything no, that I put on top of here, so I'm not really worried again, about it. Again, the only time I've gotten a low resistance warning is when I put these. Anytime I put these coils in an RDA, before I glow them, they always read a point zero seven, which this did read a point zero seven. Right. Then it wouldn't fire. Um, <clears throat> so I had to glow them on another mod, whatever. But again, it's not it's not a functional thing. It doesn't affect the way the mod vapes. It's just it's just kind of weird that even though it reads below the I've the been, limit, it's still fire. I've been rocking this mod for a little bit over a week now, solid. That's yeah, all I've been using. All I've That's used, all too. I've been using. I want to make sure I give it a really thorough test. Normally, I am using well. Lately, actually, uh, I've been using the Watofo Flow Tank for mm -hmm. my everyday. Uh, but before that tank came along, I was rocking the Big Baby, both of which I are uh, well. Up until recently, I've been rocking the Smock .15 coils in, right. which usually have an average reading on any given mod in my in my collection um, between .14 and .16. Yeah, that seems to be about the average. This thing read it at .14 just about every right. Time. With my with with my uh, Kylan on here, the coils that are in there right now are .14 um, fuse Claptons. And this mod reads them at 0.14. So right. it just kind of depends on the build of, of the yeah. coils that you're using, apparently. <laughs> anyway, outside of that, that's the only cons I have. Those are the those are the only even gripes I have. Um, we had to kind of we had to kind of nitpick a little bit. But yeah, pros, we did. nitpicky. First and foremost, I have been completely and utterly blown off my off my ass with the battery life. The battery life is impressive to say the least. With the flow tank or my Serpent SMM, I, I vape both of those around 45 watts. Right. 12 to 13 hours. Solid. Every time. I averaged about 11 to 12 and a half hours with my flow tank. Um, you vape yours a little hotter than me. But I, but I also had my, I usually also have this on powerful. Where you right. Keep it standard. I, I keep mine on standard. I like yeah. the instantaneous fire. I, I on keep this. it on powerful like right when I'm dripping, but with the tank, I just I use it on right. standard. So but yeah, I like on that. standard mode, 12 to 13 hours every time. Pretty impressive considering the fucking pro color is having, it's the little fucking engine that could trying to get as much battery life right. out of it where this thing, but then again, as we said in the pro color review, that's got a full, it's full frontal, right. man. We're talking like <laughs> 1980s rated R bush, man. Like it is in your face. They don't get shy about it. This is a very small screen, very, very simple yep. screen. So on that, you know, yeah. the battery life I'm impressed with. However, I've noticed a lot of people complaining that the battery meter is off. Now, my only attest to that is I don't find it that way because no. I was I've been anytime the batteries have been going dead in this or coming close to going dead, I've been and they've been showing anywhere between seven to nine percent whenever the mod just couldn't fire right, anymore. Right, right. I've been pulling those batteries out of this mod and putting it something like in the Osmonis Minic and Reborn to see what it says. And it's reading within two or three percentiles. Of I mean, where the batteries are. I went so, a little simpler with my test on that. When the mod wouldn't fire anymore, I just put them on the charger, and they were always at like that 3.25, 3.3 well, volts. Well, keep in mind, when, on the, when I was on the road, I don't have a charger. Oh, yeah, 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 voltage, yeah, yeah. So no, that's I, why I did it that I way. I got that. But, yeah, I mean, when the mod says they can't fire anymore, they <clears> they need <throat> charge. So I have, right. I have seen no discrepancies so, in the battery. Yeah, the battery life with, has been pretty... With my Kylan on it, vaping it at 66 watts, 68 watts, somewhere in that area, I'm still getting 10 hours every single day time I'm like getting, i keep fluctuating i keep going back and forth between tanks on the road just to <clears> test <throat> different things and make sure that you know i can repeat my findings here and yeah every every time with between 40 and 50 watts it was 12 to 13 hours and between 65 and 70 watts it was 9 to 10 hours i mean dripping okay i mean Again, like we've said in the past, you know, any Dripping's mod over 100, 100 watts is going to be virtually gonna your battery yeah. life. But I mean, but yeah, under 100 watt vaping, man, the battery. Life, again, I was not expecting that. I wasn't when, either. I when, was, I was been happy if we would have got like Vupu drag right, battery life, right. which wasn't anything to write home about. These were sent to us by Watofo for the purpose of the review. By the way, we forgot to mention that didn't change anything. But when they contacted us about this, I was like. <clears throat> 
I looked up the pictures. I'm like, oh my god, that thing is beautiful. But man, the battery life's gonna suck. Like right. I, I know that going into this, the battery right. life's gonna suck. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It's it, fantastic. It's, it's completely blown my socks off. Like it's 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 amazing to me how good right. it is. The the resin is gorgeous and like in the right light. There's like this is what blue resin is supposed to yeah, look like. This is what blue resin is supposed to look like. Not this just is what a we solid got chunk from the blue. fucking funky yeah, aviator. This it's got some funky butt loving going on with yeah, it. That's the problem. This this mod is, meh. but uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, but uh, anyway, yeah. I mean, this this mod is what I consider a nice resin. Mod, I have the know? black, which is very interesting yeah, yeah, because yeah. this thing has got. I've noticed at least five different colors, right? In it, and it works. <laughs> it, cra it cracks beautiful. me up on the box. Mine is called red. Uh, there's like six spots of red all over on the whole thing, and the Which rest of funny. it is just beautiful blues. And Maybe greens that was and the purples. problem with the A leader. Maybe we should order green. We, <laughs> we like would have got blue. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, <clears throat> the, yeah, this thing is. It's got that really great soft rubbery resin cartel mod feel to it. Yeah. Just like the Ram did. Um, it's the same quality of, of resin as the Ram one. Right. Um, and then yeah, everything else is just great. Now they included. I showed them the up close. They included those little plastic rings to go underneath your atomizer to keep it from scratching. I've that. chosen not to use those, so <laughs> mine is scratching on the top mine's a little not bit. Really it's not too bad. To I mean, you've point. got the dark gunmetal color. Mine's the silver one. Yeah, it it is scratching a little bit. It's not really. bad, though. It's no worse than any other mod that I have I that say, sits I, flush. I don't notice it enough to make it a big deal. Because the 510 connection sits flush, which is nice. There's no gap on the bottom. Um, um, all right. Do you want me to just go into what I got? Yeah. All yeah, right. All right. Know. All right, guys. So pretty much, most of the same cons and pros. Like I said, the, the the battery door thing was bugging him a little bit more than me. I find that it comes very close. That that is an opinion oriented on how you're holding it in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. You know, ogre hands over here. Fucking, you know, Sas Sasquatch hands. Um, I believe. Obviously, yeah, I know. Um, has that issue. So you know, me, I notice it, but it's not to the point where it's like, oh my god, it's uncomfortable to hold the bitch because it's fucking, right. you know, it's not. It doesn't. It's not, it's not bad. Like I said, I just want to say, you know, that for me, not really such a, too much of an issue. Uh, I think one of the biggest pros for me, outside of the battery life on this, has got to be the flawless fit and finish. Every resin panel, every metal frame is perfectly aligned and straight. Yep. I mean, this is a very, very nice quality mod, which brings me... <sighs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Price is in the eye of who has the most money. Unfortunately... We gotta bring it up. This <sighs> mod is a little bit pricier than what your average mod will run you. Uh, I've seen it anywhere between 100 to $130 yeah. for the mod. Um, now, that's not to say... That the mod's not worth that price. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. just to say that... Are you willing you to spend 100 bucks on a mod like about this? about to say, yeah. are you going to spend 100 bucks on this? Now, I, having said that, I came up a way to justify that. Because normally, I'm very much the person that's like, oh, fuck, I'd never buy a motherfucking, you know, unless it's a Kadama mod. And I know that someday I'm going to make a big mistake and just say, fuck it, it's only, it's only half a grand. <laughs> like, who needs a half a grand? You know, fuck my landlord. Fuck him. Yeah. He wants that shit every month. I'm taking a break. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, how do I justify that? I actually ended up using this as my justification, the Funky A Leader 160, because this mod is 60, bucks, yeah. or I'm sorry, 50 bucks from where we got it. Is it worth 50 bucks? Yeah, you be the judge. Check out that video review if you want. I would say it's um, more like 30 personally, but anyway. Probably, yeah. So I would rather spend double and buy this for $100 than go to spend another 50 on this mod. Yeah. That's how I justified it. So yeah. I guess it comes down to... What are you willing to pay for a mod? Right. Is if, it in, if you're a person that $100 is not out of the realm to spend on a mod... Go for it. I, yes, absolutely. Recommend it 100%. I think it's asinine that people are going and spending $300 on mech mods, but they do it all the time. Yeah, you know? yeah. There's a lot of mech mods out there like, how much you pay for that? 300 bucks. Were you, were you, were you, were you high? We're not mech guys. Were you, but, uh, I were, mean, were maybe you there's smoking meth? Maybe there's something you to You were drinking that. Drano. That was it. You were drinking <laughs> Drano. Bath salts, man. <laughs> You know? But anyway, so when it boils down to it, would I buy this mod? If I, if I did not have this mod anymore, would I buy it? Yes. But it wouldn't be the first mod I went after. 
if 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 all of my vape shit just disappears, someone breaks into my house and, FDA, and bend over the table and yeah, take my vein all, member. All of my vein st- my vape stuff is just I said vein stuff. You see that you hear that? Vein. Yeah. <laughs> all, if all of my, my vape vein my vape member. stuff just disappeared, this is not the first mod that I would go after because I just I, I don't know. It's a hundred bucks. Here's 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 what. When I found an extra hundred dollars that I could justifiably spend on a mod, yes, absolutely, I would. Which is hard for you because you have twins. I, I have twins, so a hundred dollars is very hard for me to justify on <laughs> yeah. anything. But you here's know. my thing, guys: yeah. would I spend a hundred bucks on it? Yeah, I probably would. And the only reason I say that, I spent eighty dollars on the Minikin Reborn. And anybody that's watched that review or just has watched us throughout our whole videos, right. we hot we hold Osmodus in high regard. And this is the second coming of the mod, in my opinion. Um, this is just a fantastic mod. Thing is a it, it's in the, nature, it's in the yeah. running for mod of the year for me. Um, this was eighty dollars. Okay, so eighty dollars will buy you, in my opinion, one of the best mods on the market for the money at this point in time. Yeah. This is a hundred dollars, and this is more or less. This is just a really nice quality mod as well. Honestly, the reason the Minikin is so highly regarded to us is because of, I mean, we like everything about it, but the battery life is the big kicker. This is a pretty close second. I mean, yeah, as far this, as- battery life's pretty good. When I, when I look at all the mods that I own, when I, when, I, when I put all the mods that I own on the table, the ones that I have with the best battery life are the Minikins, the Alien, and this, these are the best battery life of any mod that I personally own. What's really the bitch of the whole thing because of how pretty this mod is, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it by continuing to take it out on the road so it's probably right. going to live at home with the Right, yeah, this, one's, this one went on the road for an entire week. It's not going to anymore just because I don't want to I don't want to fuck it up. But Like I said, guys, we're going to bring this into a close. Yeah. It is definitely beard approved from Absolutely. both of us here. Highly recommended, again, if you're willing to if spend the money. If you're willing to spend it and you can afford it. Right. Um, if you can't, there's other great mods out there for less money. Exactly. But I got to give this an approval because a it's just fantastic the battery life it's such a nice fit and I finish i forgot one of my biggest pros they had the balls to put out a mod with no temp control yeah yeah that's <laughs> it we said it in the tip co- yeah, yeah, yeah that was just one thing that i didn't even have to worry about i didn't have Here to learn it are <laughs> the most universe in the universe. i didn't have to learn something Stentorian. that I'm, i didn't have to learn something Stentorian. that i'm <laughs> Dick, stop interrupting me. I wasn't. I was singing the. Yeah. Anyway. Stentorian. <laughs> I just love not having to have a feature that I'm never going to use, and not having to learn how to use it in order to show it on a video. Vape blowware, yeah. non-existent right. on this mod. Yeah. So absolutely, guys, big thumbs up. Really do like it, guys. Yeah. Like I said, is it worth it? I think it would be worth it just because of the fit and the finish, the quality, the fact that it's it yeah. it, it has great battery life. Right. It's you know, but you guys be the judge. Let us know what you think. Maybe we're insane. Maybe you guys you're like fuck. You guys are retarded. This thing's overpriced as hell. Hey hey, it's it, it, who, it, what something is worth is who's willing to pay for it, right? Is a is a Dodge Hellcat freaking tra- Challenger worth eighty grand? Sure it is. Would I spend eighty grand on it? No. So it just depends Actually, on. Actually, that's a that's a completely different statement because the real question is, could you spend eighty well, grand? Well, no, I could. Exactly. <laughs> it's not that you wouldn't. Right. If you're a fucking millionaire, right. you're like, dude, you want to so, ride to the vape shop and right. buy a Hellcat? So again, it just is depends. Is it worth it to you? If you are willing to spend a hundred bucks on a mod, buy the the whatever right. the basilisk from uh, Stentorian. So if yeah. not, guys, like I said, there's plenty of other great mods out there, but yeah. it does get a pass from us. But we've let this go on way too long. It's beard approved. We love it. We recommend it. If you have any questions, you think we're stupid, you want to leave us a comment telling us so, whatever, feel free to leave a comment. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Let us know about our, our new setup here. Yeah, yeah, we're changing this, it up. This is going away. This is this is a one, maybe two time thing. This big, nasty yellow wall. This will have stuff on it and be a different color soon. I'll give you guys a little uh, sneak peek of some. We got a green screen. Oh, what could happen with a green screen? I don't know. Maybe Pornhub. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. We'll see. Hey, anyway, guys, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at In Between Two Beards. Send us a line if you have anything you want to say, or just say hi, In Between Two Beards at gmail.com. That goes double for you, Dad. You know, you can say hi every once in a while. Okay. Uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, vape on. Vape on.
<laughs> that was my bad. That was that was dry. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that was so dry. Uh, all right, let's do it.